What up everybody, Tanner out here hanging out with High Times Magazine in Hollywood, California at Oz WeHo. First started smoking weed, uh, probably around like nine or ten years old. So it was just kind of a natural thing for the younger kids to try to follow the older crowd. And I was always kind of an eccentric kid, so I don't know if that had something to do with it. But yeah, right around nine or ten years old. This is like the, one of the times that I stopped smoking for a long time and didn't have any THC or marijuana in my system and it was actually for the first ever half pipe world championships event that they had in Ruka, Finland. And I had stopped smoking and right before that contest I hit this jump called Chad's Gap in Utah and I ended up breaking both my ankles and both my heels. Ankles are broken. Dave Richards, one of my good buddies, is just an Alta Ski Patrol old hippie skier. Like he knew what I was doing and that I hadn't been smoking. I was trying to do this World Championships for half pipe. And when he cra when he saw me crash and I was in the landing, like it wasn't hard to see that I wasn't going to be skiing for a long time. And so, like he came down and right away, the first thing he did, he took his one e out and packed it up, and he was like, well. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, buddy. You're not going to go to world championships anymore, but at least you can smoke, so here you go. So that was a pretty cool little thing. In skiing, like we're kind of looked at as rebels, but if you look at our sport in the 70s and in the 60s, like just marijuana is like what was a platform for skiing. So in 2009, I broke both my legs and blew out both my ACLs. And so the biggest thing was, was the doctors were trying to say like, do not smoke. And when I heard 14 months, until I was going to be on my skis again, I was like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The amount of pain pills that I was prescribed, and that was like, that was just right out of my whim anytime that I wanted, was scary. I was just in a bad position of being like, yo, I'm not going to ski, I'm not going to do this, and then all of a sudden, like, that was the first form of drug addiction I've ever had. You know, me and C.R. Johnson, that's like a good buddy, he passed away in 2010 in skiing, like one of the best skiers in the world, but he, was the one that pretty much let me know, like, gee, like, don't. Like, I'm watching you not get better. I'm watching you not heal. I'm watching you, like, dude, what is going on? You're losing weight. You look like shit. Like, what is going on? And that's pretty much what it is. I mean, like, it's like heroin. You know what I mean? You eat those things. You don't want to eat food. You don't want to move. And never once from, like, 10 years old to 32 have I ever felt like that way about marijuana. I felt about alcohol. I felt it about other drugs, I felt about prescription drugs, I felt it about pretty much every single solitary thing that our government puts in front of you. I actually like, got back to skiing because I threw all that shit away, went, started going to the gym and smoking marijuana. I got healthy, threw out drinking, threw out a lot of stuff, and at night I would smoke you know, two to three joints to kind of reflect back on the day. It's really good, it's helped me so much, like I can't even, it's hard to even talk about, you know? I want to get my own strain going called the Ski Boss strain. It would pretty much be a Girl Scout cookie mixed with Af Goo, a little cross pollination. I just, I, I can't wait for the day my life just stopped being intense, where I can like, like sit back and just enjoy and watch other people like go through intense shit and be like, oh, dude, I've been there. You're gonna be good. You know what I mean? 